Okay, hello, hello. Hi, class. Good night, teacher. Good night to you. Welcome back. You know, hoy sí ando como casi perdiendo la voz a esta hora. Así que si me quedo sin voz, ahí vamos Good a leer un nuevo teacher por aquí. Good, Good night, night to you. Volunteers para ser teacher. Nadie dice nada, teacher. Así que esperemos no quedarme afónica. You know, eh, tengo un grupo a la una de la tarde. Ahí sí, me quedé sin voz totalmente. Pero ahorita ya podemos hablar un poquito más. Así que. Okay, so welcome back. Today we are going to have a very nice topic, very easy. Yo, yo todos lo siento fácil, no sé por qué, pero ustedes también lo van a sentir fácil. Okay, very easy topic today. And let me ask you, how is the weather today, class? <clears throat> how is the weather today? Let's practice right now. It is hot. Uh, it is hot, really? No, it's cold right here. No, teacher. It's hot, okay. <laughs> Imagining it's, it's hot. How is the weather today? <clears throat> uh -huh. Laura, how is the weather today? I cannot hear you. Ah, ya no me acuerdo cómo se responde, teacher. How is the weather today? ¿Quién me ayuda? Ajá, revisen los cuadernos. You can go and check your notebooks. Why not? Check your notebooks. Remember, we are going to use it, is, and then... An adjective. No les estoy preguntando de las estaciones, sino del clima. How is the weather today or right now? Summer? Mm, not really. Les pregunto what season is it or how is the weather? ¿Qué les estoy preguntando? Perfecto, podemos aclarar todas esas dudas ahorita. ¿Cómo está el clima? Ajá, muy bien. Ahorita les muestro. El clima, creo que lo más común en conversación es esto, de weather, el clima. Casi es raro que les pregunten de las seasons. ¿En qué estación estamos? No creo que les pregunten, o tal vez, ¿verdad? But the weather, how is the weather today? You know, in English... Or in the United States, it's very common. Aman este tema, bien básico para conversaciones, hablar del clima. So, hi, hello, how are you? Hey, how's the weather today? Pueden preguntar del clima, okay? So, it is, or it's sunny, it's cloudy, it's windy, it's foggy, it's hot, it's freezing. Okay, and we can also use verbs. Esto lo vamos a ver ahora. It's snowing, it's raining, it's hailing. So those are the topics. Revisen sus anotaciones siempre, okay? In cada class. What class is this one? What number of class is this one? This is class number? Four. 12, there we go, class number 12. We are going to finish section number four. And the topics that we have, it's about the present continuous. And basically, or mainly, yes, no questions. No, vamos a enfocar en las questions, interrogative form, okay? Present continuous. If we go to the platform, there we are going to watch a video. Let me play a small part of this video so you can listen to a short explanation and some examples, okay? And after that, we are coming to this topic. Here we go. We've been class. Let me go to the platform right now. <clears throat> 
You know, in here is very cold. Yo siento muy helado. Como les dije, sí, se me va la voz. Vamos a elegir un nuevo teacher en la clase. So, alístense los voluntarios. Volunteers to be teachers. Okay, here we go. Let me do something. Vamos a hacer algo rapidito. Just real quick. Section number four. Ya les proyecto, don't worry. Here we go. Okay, I'm ready right now. Okay. Here we go, the present continues. Let's listen to a short explanation and then we continue with the class. Here we go. Hi everyone. In this class, we'll learn how to this form statements okay. using the present continuous. Let me first give the definition of the present continuous. We use the present continuous whenever you want to talk about an action that is in progress in this particular moment. Okay, let me stop here. Look at the definition that we have. It's very important that we know this definition in English. No solo la manejemos en español. Let's listen again to this explanation. Listen. We use the present continuous whenever you want to talk about an action that is. You use the present continuous whenever, cuando quieran, whenever you want to talk about an action. You use the present continuous whenever you want to talk about an action. In progress in this particular moment. That is in progress in this particular moment or right now. Una acción que está en progreso right now. That is the present continuous. Right okay? now. For <clears throat> example, I'm talking right now. I'm talking right now, yes. I'm explaining. You're listening no, no, to the can... class. Hi, good night to you. Right no now. Me Let me write a quick no formula in order to understand how no, not to yet. form these Todavía statements. No. Okay. Subject. Plus Look at the, the formula be, that we have. Plus the verb. Uh, plus ing. Mm -hmm. Plus. Plus some kind of complement. Okay, let's just stop here. Look what we have here. Affirmative statements. Affirmative sentences. What are you doing? I'm talking right now. I am explaining right now. And you? You are listening to the class right now. What is the question? What are we doing? Or what is happening right now? ¿Qué está pasando ahorita? I am talking right now. I'm explaining right now. And you, class, are listening right now. Listening to the class right now. Those are examples about the present continuous. If you want to have a formula, this is the one for the uh, for the affirmative sentences. Subject. And then we have the verb to be. We need to have a verb and the agency form and the complement. Se los explico con más detalle ahorita. Let me go back. I have the same picture right here. And as you may see, what are these? ¿Cómo le llamamos a estos? I, you, he, she, we, we, no, no, they. Personal. Personal. Personal, personal pronouns. Ah. Muy bien. And what is this? Am, are, is. What is that? Ah. to be. That is the verb to be. That's why. En mi fórmula, ¿qué me piden? My subjects. 
que son los pronombres personales o puede ser el nombre de la persona. Subject plus verb to be. And what, is, uh, what, what are the forms of the verb to be? Tenemos tres formas del verbo to be en presente. Am, um, is, is, or are. are. Mm -hmm. Para que se le haga más fácil. And after that, plus a verb, un verbo que contenga esta terminación, ing. And I can also have a complement. Okay? A complement. There we go. This is the affirmative form. Affirmative. Affirmative sentences. If I want to have negative sentences, it's muy similar, you know, it's very similar. I just need to have the same information, but I am going to add not. Y miren, la misma información, solo le agrego not. For the interrogative form. It's very similar, look. Uso la misma información, but I need to do a switch. Hago un cambio, un switch. I need to have the verb to be at the beginning and after the verb to be, I am going to have the subject. Did you notice that? Que cambio hice? I made a switch. The subject and the verb to be. I need to have the subject as the second one. And I am going to have the verb to be in the first place. Okay? Subject, verb to be. Ah, y me hace falta algo. ¿Qué me faltó ahí? Interrogative form. ¿Qué creen que me falta en la interrogative form? El signo. There we go. Excelente. Pongámosle ahí. Jamás olviden esto. The interrogative form. We are going to add the question mark. ¿Cómo digo signo de interrogación en in English class? Para que no se les olvide. Question. Question. Mark. Mark. Ahí está. The question mark. Question mark. Yes. Signo de interrogación. Question mark. Y como decíamos, punto final. El punto que llevamos al final de la oración. Se llama? Point. Period. ¿Saben que point es otro? Point. Y dot es otro. Hay tres formas de llamar el punto en inglés. Point. Dot. Y period. Y en español, punto es punto. Pero en inglés, tres formas de llamar al, al punto. Okay? Point, dot, and period. ¿Cuándo usamos esto? Ya lo usamos en la clase. ¿Se acuerdan de esto? Yeah. yeah. That comes. Ajá. Excellent, Eric. Whenever we were expressing the email, dot com, punto com, period es el punto final. Okay? No confundamos dot and period. Point es más un verbo. Point. Que estoy apuntando algo. Point. O oh, es un nombre también. What is the point? ¿Cuál es el punto? Es un nombre. Point. Right? Ok. Mucha información. Extra information. Pero muy útil. Here we go. Let's make some questions. But before making questions... We are going to make sentences. Let's make an affirmative sentence. Class, what are you doing right now? ¿Qué están haciendo ahorita? What are you doing right now? Recibiendo la clase. Mm -hmm. And I, I am, I am. Waiting. 
Oh, okay. I am. You can say I am writing. Because the am... examples, probably. So, escribiendo los ejemplos. Affirmative. Are you watching or are you checking your Facebook right now? No. 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 no, no. Are no. you sleeping right now? Are you sleeping right now? No. I no. Know. Are you taking a shower right now? No, I am not. No. No. All right. So, are you checking WhatsApp right now? Yes. No. Probably. No. Ah, probably. Probably. Yeah. <laughs> Para ayudarle a mis compañeros. Ajá. Exactly. Como, yes. Ayudarme a la teacher. Excellent. So, tomemos, are you checking Facebook? No, not teacher. Negative. No. I am not checking no. Facebook right now. Let's make a question. In the present continuous, we have two type of questions. Dos tipos de preguntas. Perdón, teacher, este, están escribiendo en el WhatsApp unos compañeros. Ajá. Who is eh, it? ¿Quién será? Pues Yahweh, no sé quién es Yahweh. Ah, es. Sam es tampoco, no sé quién es. Pero Antonio dice que se le acaba de ir el Inter. O oh, Anderson, perdón. Y Katy tiene problemas Katy con también. el Inter. Anderson, Stan, I guess it. Stanley. Se me había ido un ratito, pero ya regresé. Okay. Okay. Excellent. There you are. Oh, I imagine. Miren el sticker. Qué triste. I'm so sorry. I like that sticker. <laughs> okay. Let's continue. Chicos, gracias por reportar los problemas ahí. Siempre se justifiquen para que sepamos qué ha pasado. Interrogative. ¿Qué les decía? Ah, in English, no, in the present continuous form, con esa estructura de present continuous, I can have two types of questions. Look, I can have the yes, no questions and the questions that I need extra information. For example, what are you doing? Doing? ¿Puedo responder esa con yes and no? What are you doing? Yes, teacher. What are you doing? No, teacher. No. 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 ¿Qué necesito? No. I need information. Informative. Son informativas. Look. Todas las que inician con WH questions. I need extra information. Okay. But if I ask you this one. Are you are you wearing boots right now? Boots. Are you wearing boots? No, I am not. Ah, no, I am not. not. So, if I have questions with the verb to be, these are the questions that I can reply with a yes and no. A eso se le llama yes, no questions. A todas las que inician con el verbo to be. ¿Ok? Ya van a ver por qué necesito hacer esta aclaración. Por el ejercicio que tenemos. Yes, no. Let me send this picture. Envío esta imagen antes que se me borre. ¿Ok? Here we go. And I'm going to check the attendance list right now. Okay, here we go. You know, you can go and check the video, you know, in the platform. Pueden chequear el video de la platform, porque es la misma explanation, the same explanation, you know. Pero a veces me gusta ser un poco más. teacher, este, dijo sí. que iba a compartir la imagen al WhatsApp o... Uh -huh, al WhatsApp ahorita. Pero, ah, ok. Es que no nos ha caído por eso. Vaya, ya. No ahorita... vaya a ser que se equivoque de grupo. De, de yes, grupo. you know, because I have so many groups. <laughs> But how about now? ¿La recibieron ya? Yes. yes. Ok, excelente. Yes. Yes, teacher. Ok, here we go. Let me check the attendance list. Please say here or present. Vamos a ver. Alfonso Antonio. Present. Excellent. 
Ana Maribel. Present. Brandon Steven. Present teacher. Excellent. Brian Alexander. Brian, no, okay. Brian Anderson. Present teacher. Excellent. Cindy Jacqueline. Present teacher. Okay, Cindy. Daniela Michel. Present. Okay, Daniela. Dayana Lisbeth. Dayana Lisbeth. Eric Orlando. Present teacher. Okay, Eric. Fabiola Pamela. Present. Okay, Fabi. Present. Erlinda, um, who was that? Fabiola, right? Okay. Erlinda Amalia. Present. Hi, Erlinda. ¿Qué se me había hecho, Erlinda? Es que había tenido unos problemas familiares, no me okay. había podido conectar. Sí, no, but don't worry, entendemos, pero está de regreso. Muy bien, Erlinda. Sí. Ok, excelente. Ingrid Maricela. Ok, Ingrid. Jefferson Alexander. I'm here. Ok. José Luis Márquez. Carla Guadalupe. Catherine Giselle. Present. Ok, Catherine. Laura Concepción. Present. Ok. Marlene Elizabeth. Present teacher. Excellent. Marlon Ernesto. Marvin Moises. Mauricio Antonio. Present teacher. Excellent. René Giovanni. Present teacher. Ok, excellent. Roxana Rosemary. Wendy Beatriz. Present teacher. Ok. Wilber Samuel. Present. Excellent. Wilmer Stanley. I'm here. Ok. Semara Natalie. Present teacher. Excellent. And Suleima Emperatriz. Present teacher. Ok, Suleima. Okay, let's write some examples right now. You know, um, we are going to concentrate on the interrogative form. Vamos a las preguntas. Look at the information that we have here. Okay. Why is that? Uh, we are going to use the complete form and we can also use the short form contractions. For example, I can say I am or I can also say I am your she's where or there or I can also say it. Okay? Short form for the negative form, I can have this. Make sure the subject and the verb to be. Miren, puedo hacer corta esta parte. The subject and the verb to be. Or I have the second choice. Tengo la otra forma. Okay. Para el, bueno, para I am. No existe otra forma corta. Miren, solo esta. I'm not. But for the rest of the subjects, I can have the subject and the verb to be. O puedo combinar el verbo to be y el not. Yo decido cuál hacer corta, ¿ok? Look. She's. Or I can also say it's a. Please check out your microphones. Revisemos los micrófonos, chicos. Por favor. Ahí está. Entonces, elegimos ambas formas. 
¿Cuál es la correcta? Cualquiera de ustedes quieran usar. El único detalle es I'm not. Esa no tiene otra forma de ser la corta. But let's practice right now, okay? Open your microphone, so you see, a practicar. Let's repeat. You are not. You are not. You are not. You are not. Or you aren't. Or, or you aren't. Or you aren't. Excellent. Or, She's not. She's not. not. Or she or, isn't. She's or, or she's she's excellent. We're not. We're not. Or we aren't. Or we aren't. Excellent. They are not. They, they are not. not. Or, or, or they, they aren't. aren't. They aren't. It's not. It's not. not. Or it isn't. It is, it is, it is, it is, it is. Very good job. Okay. Let me write some examples with the negative form. It is not raining. No. Háganme la corta. Miren, esta es la forma completa. How do I make the short form? It is not raining. ¿Cómo hacemos las formas cortas? It isn't raining. There we go. We can say number one, it isn't raining. Será que hay otra forma? Do we have any other form? It's not raining. Ah, very good job. It's not raining. So for the negative form, you can have three choices. The complete form, it is not. You can have it isn't or it's not, okay? Let's write another example. We are not sleeping. Forma completa, háganme la corta ahorita, short form. We aren't. We can say we aren't. What is the other form? We're not. We're, we're not. We are. Huh? We are we're not, not sleeping. We are not. Again, we are not, but I already have we are not. We're, we're. we're not. We're not. Ah, pronunciation class. We're so not. We're not. Not. not we're not we aren't we are not or este es como solo la r we're not we're esta e como que no existe we're not para que se distinga que es la forma corta okay we're not sleeping we aren't sleeping and that's it Questions about this? Preguntas sobre las formas cortas del negative or not? Is it clear? Yeah. Excellent. And look at this information. Conjunctions. In English, we have these words and but and so. ¿Y cómo se le llama a esas tres? Hay más, obviamente hay muchas más. Se le llama Conjunctions. ¿Para qué me sirven las conjunctions? Look, I have a sentence right here. It's snowing. And I have another sentence here. It's windy. It's sunny. It's cold. It's windy again. And it's very cold. So, as you may see, todas estas seis expresiones son oraciones completas. ¿Por qué? Porque tienen sujeto, verbo, un verbo en progresivo. Son oraciones completas. But what happens? Si yo quiero unir esas dos oraciones, what am I going to use? I need to use conjunctions. If I want to make one sentence, of the two sentences that I have here, I can make it, but I need to use conjunctions. 
The first one, it's snowing and it's windy. Y está nevando y ¿qué, qué más tenemos acá? It's windy. Okay, we were talking about the weather. It's sunny, but it's cold. Pero es un contraste. ¿Qué se supone o cómo debería estar el clima si está soleado? It's sunny. Hot. Hot. Ah. It's sunny, but, pero, it's cold. Y miren esta. It's windy, so, it's very cold. Es una consecuencia de mi expresión anterior. Está, hace mucho viento, entonces, o, por ende, o entonces, está muy helado. Esta es el resultado de qué? Del clima, de que está windy. Y, pero, entonces. Look, I am going to write some examples. Le voy a escribir dos ideas. I am eating a lot of candy. La otra expresión ¿Sí? sería I am a little ¿Cómo decíamos? En lugar de decir fat, ¿se acuerdan qué adjetivo ocupamos? Chavi. Chavi. Oh, ¿Qué más? I'm a little chavi. Vale. ¿Qué ocuparía yo para unir estas dos oraciones? I am eating a lot of candies. I am a little chavi. So. And but or so. Why so? ¿Por qué so? ¿Por qué creen que ocupo so? Uh -huh. So, me están diciendo so. Why? ¿Por qué ocupo so? Who can give me an explanation? Porque una es el resultado de la otra. ¿Por qué estoy chubby? ¿Por qué estoy un poquito pasada de peso? ¿Por qué? Estoy comiendo muchos dulces. Entonces, so es el resultado de mi acción previa. Right. Let me write another example. It's, it is raining. Ok, let me go back. Right here. It is raining. It is cold. ¿Qué ocuparían para unirlas? It is raining. It's cold. This is my first idea. This is the second idea. Huh, class? Alfonso, what are you going to use? It is raining. It's cold. Oh, siempre. Ok. ¿Será que podemos usar so o hay otra opción que podemos usar también? Um, look. Yes, and probably end. You know, but look. Lo que quiero que observemos es la puntuación. It's raining. No, this is the correct one. It's raining. Y ya no ocupo el punto final, sino coma. So, minúscula. Ya no inicia con mayúscula. It's cold. Ok. It's snowing, coma. And it's windy. It's sunny, coma. But it's cold. It's windy, comma. So it's very cold. Okay. Questions about this. Questions about the conjunctions. Preguntas sobre las conjunciones, conjunctions. O están claras.
¿Qué se me hizo la clase? Are you sleeping? Are you there, class? Claro. Let me check. Where are my students? My class say, yes, teacher. It's clear, no, teacher. No entiendo. Yes, teacher. Yes. 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 Clear. Yes, yes, que it's clear. Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Yeah. Me voy a quedar sin voz por ustedes. Es que estamos concentrados. Yeah. Ah, ok. Está concentrado. La fónica me voy a quedar. But don't worry. No me importa eso. Let's go to the platform. There we have two exercises. Look. We are going to use everything. Todo lo que hemos aprendido en la section four, aquí lo ocupamos. And the instructions are, look at the pictures. Look at the picture. Ajá, ¿qué más dice? Look at the pictures. Ayúdenme a leer. Look at the pictures. Look at the picture. And, input, input the correct answer. Input the correct answer. In the blank. In the blank, right? <laughs> Some of the sentences will have a negative connotation. And some positive. In otras palabras, son negative statements. In some, positive connotation. For example, my name is Claire. I'm wearing a green suit today. I'm wearing high heels too. Okay? But let's go to the examples right now. Take a look at the first picture that we have here. And let me ask you some questions about this. Uh, Anderson, Brian Anderson, what is she wearing today? What is she wearing today? Um, raining. Ah, listen to my question. What is she wearing today? Sé lo que me está diciendo, pero no sé cómo responderle. Ah, ok. ¿Quién ayuda? What is she sweet. wearing today? She is wearing a green suit. Uh, a sweet. Ah, a it's sweet. a sweet. ¿Es un dulce? It's a candy. No. <laughs> es un traje verde. I mean, how do you say traje verde in English? <laughs> red suit. A suit. Excellent. A red or green suit? Green. Oh, green. <laughs> ok, green. who say red? Green it's suit. Blue. It's a green suit. How is the weather? How is the weather? It's raining. The there we weather go. is raining. It's raining. Where is she at this moment? Where um, is she? Where and donde? Where is she at this moment? She uh -huh. is um at the park and not really Mauricio Antonio uh, what do you think and how do you say that in English do you know bus station English? okay yeah. bus station or bus stop bus station. bus station es donde llegan todos los buses pero bus stop es la que tenemos en la calle en la carretera Bus station, bus stop. She is at the bus stop right now. Okay, look at the information that we have here. My name is Claire. I'm wearing a green suit. No, sweet, sweet, no, sweet, no, suit, suit, suit. Otra vez, diez veces, suit, 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 Sweet, no, no, it's not sweet. Sweet, 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 sweet. Si estuviéramos presencial, los hago que traigan dulces para corregir eso. Sweet, 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 sweet. Ah, and is she wearing high heels right now? Is she wearing high heels? Acuérdense del verbo wear. Is she wearing high heels? Yes. Yes, ¿qué? 
Yes, she, she is. is. Ah, yes, she is. Complete sentence, yes, please. Yes. Two, dice también. También, okay. so. Ella dice, I. Ya tengo el sujeto. ¿Qué le sigue? Verbo. Um, um, y, word. Verbo um, word. wear. Word. Y el ing. Ahí está. I am wearing high heel shoes. I'm, I'm wearing today. Look, it's raining. ¿Qué dice? It's raining. Está lloviendo. Pero. Está lloviendo. Miren esta expresión. Pero. But. ¿Qué me indica? No. Es un Pero. contraste. It's a contrast. Pero. Pero. Does she have a raincoat or not? Is she wearing a raincoat right now? Is she wearing a raincoat? Está vistiendo un raincoat or not? No. 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 Uh, uh, no, no, no. So it's negative. Tiene que ser una oración negativa. Pero, no, head not. Uh, not. ¿Qué le sigue? No. Not Subject, verb to be, not, not right. the right. verb where in ing. Very good job. Picture number two. We have Toshi and Noriko. Okay. Where are they right now? Where are they? ¿En dónde están? Where are they? In the park. In the park. Okay. Or at, the park. at at the park. At uh, the park. They are at the park. Okay. They are at the park. Okay. And who's this? Who is this? Dog. It's their dog. Probably dog. it's their dog. It's a perrito, right? It's their dog, right? Ingrid Maricela, what is she wearing today? They are. No, she. Wearing... She. Ah, she. She. She is wearing a, a red t shirt. Okay. And. And short. And shorts. I don't and know. This is short teacher? Yeah, those are shorts, exactly. Oh, okay. And, and she's wearing a, a hat. Is that a hat? Is that a, ah, cap? No, a cap? A Sorry. cap. Very good job. Excellent. Uh, Jefferson, what is he wearing today? This is a boy or a girl? No, it's a boy, right? It's touching, yeah. So what is he wearing, Jefferson? He's wearing a t-shirt, yellow t-shirt mm -hmm. and, and brown shirt. Mm -hmm. And what is this? Black cup. cup. Okay, it's a black cup. Excellent description. Muy buena description. I really like it. Now let's go to the questions that we have here. Look at the weather. It's hot today. Toshi and Noriko are wearing shorts and t-shirts. Antes de que leamos la expresión, ¿qué dice acá? Pero. Pero, ¿qué significa? Que es un contrast, es un contraste. It's very sunny, but sunglasses. Are they wearing sunglasses, Cindy? Yes or no? El lente de sol. Uh -huh. lente Are they sun. wearing sunglasses? Are they wearing sunglasses? They are not. Okay. Cindy, what? Ah, Cindy, ¿ha? ¿Le escucha? Ah, para ver si estamos prestando atención. No, sí, es que me sacó del programa, de qué rato, si ahorita acabo de entrar otra vez. Tranquila, vamos a ver, mira esta pregunta. Are they wearing sunglasses? ¿Qué son los sunglasses? Lentes de sol. Lentes de sol. Lentes de sol. Are they wearing lentes de sol, Cindy? Are they wearing lentes de sol? Sunglasses. ¿Qué significa el verbo wear? Wearing. Usar, usando, usar. Uh -huh. usando. Usando. Muy usando. bien. Entonces, ¿cuál es mi respuesta, Cindy? ¿Están vistiendo sunglasses o usando sunglasses? Uh, no. 
Están no, usando no, no, they are no, not. They are eh? not. No, they, they are, are not. not. Very good job, Cindy, in class. Mm -hmm. Excellent. But they, ya tenemos el sujeto que they. ¿Qué me hace falta? El verbo to be. No. Not. El verbo mm -hmm. where. Mm -hmm. ¿Qué le sigue? ing. Mm -hmm. Así quiero que manejen la estructura, ¿ok? Picture number three. Tell me about the season. What season is this? What season is this? It's fall. It's fall. Very good. It's fall. And what is he wearing right now? What is he he's wearing? He's wearing a suit. He's wearing a... Oh, is that a suit? Wearing a suit? jacket. A, a, brown, a, yeah. a brown shirt. Brown jacket. Yeah. A brown yeah. shirt. This is a suit. So this is un traje, exactly. Traje. And he's wearing a brown... Sure. What is this? Brown jacket. Ah, exactly. So the llama okay. jacket. Okay. How about the pants, Eric? Pants. What color are they? Yes. Brown or, or gray? Probably gray. gray. Is he wearing boots? Black. No, he's not. They are not boots, no. right? Those are not boots, exactly. Let's go back. So Phil is wearing a suit. Aquí está la respuesta. Yes, he's wearing a suit today. But look, he a brown shirt. He's wearing. He's a, wearing. Affirmative or negative? ¿Qué creen? He's wearing negative. or not? Negative. He's wearing. So it's affirmative. affirmative. Yes, negative. he is wearing. But he's tengo acá el sujeto. ¿Qué le seguía? El verbo, verbo. to be. El verbo wear y ing. He's wearing a brown shirt. ING. Ah, miren el contraste acá. Dice, va Pero... a tie today. ¿Será que está vistiendo una corbata o no? Is he wearing a tie today? No. Es no. no. ¿Por qué sabemos que no está vistiendo una corbata? ¿Por qué? Ok, uno, por la picture y por qué más. Contraste. Por la vestimenta. Exactly. Por la conjunción but. Por esta palabrita. Sí. Pero ahí me está diciendo que, que no está diciendo. He's not, He is not oh, wearing God. a tie today. Excellent job, class. And the last exercise. Picture number four. We have Katie. Tell me about Katie. What season is oh. that? No, the season. What is the season? Winter. It's winter. Windy. And how is the weather? Windy. How is the weather? Cold. Okay, it's cold probably. Yes, it is cold. What is she wearing? What is this? Is hot. It's a hat. hat. And this one? Is the weather? Okay, it's a Probably a sweater. And this one? No. 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 And this one? Pants. 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 And are they boots or not? No. 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 All right. Those no. are not boots. No, those are not no. boots. Let's go to the questions that we have here. Look at the information. Uh -huh. It's cold. Yes, it is. It's cold today. But, ahí hay un contraste, but eh, Katie is not, isn't wearing a coat. Mm -mm. No está vistiendo un abrigo. Entonces, si no viste un abrigo, ¿qué significa? Que está vistiendo el qué? A sweatshirt, gloves, and a hat. ¿Saben qué es un sweatshirt? Una sudadera. Como un suéter delgado. Es una combinación de suéter y shirt. Es como un suéter que se puede usar como camisa, sudadera. ya. Yes. Sweatshirt. Sweatshirt. Y siempre casi tiene las mangas largas. Sweatshirt. Sweatshirt. So, she is wearing a sweatshirt, gloves, wearing... gloves and a hat. Is she wearing boots? No. 
No. no. Mm -mm. no. So she is not. She's not wearing no boots. Square. Is she wearing sneakers? Square. Yeah. Yes. 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 Wearing yes. sneakers. Yes. Wearing sneakers. Yes. Let me check this exercise. There we go. Ahí está. Para los que no lo habían completado, para los que me consultaron, there we have the correct answers. Y ahora sí con explicación por qué es ese la respuesta correcta. Okay, let's go and move on to the last exercise from section number four. Quiero que así se acostumbren a responder, a dar esas explicaciones. ¿Por qué estoy respondiendo esto? Okay. Now we have a picture and I can see five people in this picture. Let me ask you about this picture. What are they doing right now? What are they doing? What are they doing right now? Mm. Una fiesta. A party. Ah, yeah. they are in a party right party. now. Party. party. What's party. her name? Uh, Beth. 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 What his Nick. name? Nick. Is Nick. 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 Anita. 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 John. 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 And Bruce. Bruce. There we go. And I have five questions. Quiero que vean esto. Five different questions. ¿Con qué inician mis preguntas? Con? Con el verb to be. ¿Y qué pasa si tengo preguntas con el verb to be? Si tengo questions with the bird to be, ¿cuáles son mis opciones de respuesta? Yes, yes and no. Yes and no. Muy bien. Yes and no. Así que ya sabemos que voy a responder sí y no. Here we go. First question is Bruce. Is Bruce wearing a light green jacket? Yes, he is. Yes, he is. There we go. Excellent. Yes, he is. Is Nick wearing sunglasses? Nick. No. No, he's not. No. 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 Those are glasses only. Those are not sunglasses. So he's not. Or no, he isn't. Ustedes pueden escribir la forma corta, completa. Pueden escribir no, he isn't. O también no. He's not. Is Beth. Wearing a purple jacket and pants. Yes. Yes. Yes, right? Yes, she is. Yes, she is. Affirmative. Yes, she is. Is John wearing blue, blue jeans? Are those blue jeans or black no, jeans? No. 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 Those no, are black, not. right? Black jeans. So, uh, um, it's not. Is Anita wearing a yellow shirt? No, she's not. No, she's no. not. No, Wait, she's shirt not. or skirt? I'm sorry. Skirt. Uh, falda. Uh -huh. falda. What color is the falda. skirt? No, no. It's no, blue. It's, not blue. it's blue, so mm -hmm. this is blue. negative. And I want you to notice. Quiero que vean algo. ¿Por qué nos da error? Porque Aquí está el detalle, miren. Esta, por alguna razón, necesita punto. Necesita un period, un punto. Este puntito. Ese es porque como lo llenaron, supuestamente. ¿no? Yes, right. Así que agreguen el puntito. Y eh, ahí estamos. 33 points of 33. Sí, eh, ¿Eh? es por, por la coma, porque yo lo tengo sin el punto y me la tomó buena. But you know, yeah, algo, a mí incluso me pedía, me pedía un puntito al final. Vaya, pregunta sobre lo que vimos ahora, el present continuous, ¿para qué nos sirve? Actions that are happening in this moment, ahorita están pasando, ¿ok? ¿Y qué más podemos yes. retomar de ahí? ¿Qué más? ¿Qué más aprendimos? Teacher. Yeah, tell me. Una pregunta. Ok. 
En todos los verbos solo se le agrega ing. Yes. All of the verbs. Todos. Todos, todos, todos. Solo que hay algunos como reglas de escritura, ¿sabes? Pero se las voy a compartir. Por ejemplo, verbo stop. No sería solo stopping, sino lo correcto es agregar otra P, ING. Pero son reglas, reglas que me dicen qué verbo voy a escribir. Escribiendo nuevamente la última consonante y luego ING. But you know, yes, all of the verbs, todos los verbos funcionan con progresivo. Por ejemplo, sleep, sleeping, eat. ¿Qué sería? Eating. 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 Um, drive. Manejar. Drive. Drive. Driving. Driving. Run. Correr. Run. Run. Running. 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 Drink. Drinking. 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 All of the verbs. Todos se pueden hacer. ¿Ok? En el verbo, por ejemplo, smile. Ajá. Ah, muy bien. Smile. It's smiling, it's smiling, it's smiling. Smile. Smiling. Los que terminan con consonantes, perdón, con vocal. This one, vowels. Reemplazamos o la quitamos y agregamos ing. Smiling, smiling. Le voy a poner otra vez el verbo stop. Los que terminan con consonant, vowel, consonant. Miren, termina con consonante, vocal, consonante. Esos son los que se les va a repetir nuevamente la última consonante. Y otro verbo, let me see. Sleep. Y los verbos que terminen en Consonante, fácil, solo le agrego. ING. And that's it. Esos son como los tipos de reglas que existen para la escritura. But you know, this is a lot allí, teacher, este, bueno, por ejemplo, Stop dijo que iba una consonante y una P al final. No, consonante, vocal, oh, consonante. No, ajá, vocal, consonante. consonante y casi sleeping termina con igual una, una vocal y una consonante. No, pero termina con consonante, vocal, vocal consonante, so, no aplica. Okay. solo es esta regla, okay. la como consonante, luego una vocal, luego una consonante. Eh, otra regla que recuerdo es this one, um, los verbos que terminan con y, cry, llorar, cry, como es una consonante, la y, Agrego solo ing, cry. No hay que reemplazar. But I guess I have that information. Creo que tengo esa información. Los progresivos, cómo se escriben. But don't worry, you know. Esto es un proceso. Ustedes se van a ir dando cuenta cómo se escriben los verbos. Es más fácil recordar la pronunciación. Smile, smiling. Lo más difícil tal vez es la escritura. Ok. But don't worry, it's a process. Any other question or comment? About this topic? No? No. No, there we go. No, teacher. So, listen, we are going to continue using this structure. Son estructuras que se repiten mientras avanzamos en todas las clases o niveles. Así que cualquier clase y les surja cualquier pregunta de este tema o preguntas como las de ahorita, háganlas. No se queden con las dudas, ¿ok? Thank you, class, for coming today, for participating. Don't forget, complete the platform, la plataforma, sección 4, para mañana, lo más tardar, ¿ok? And okay. have a good night, and see you when. ¿Cuándo nos vemos? ¿Tomorrow? ¿O cuándo? No. No, teacher. On okay. Monday, I see. Viernes descansan. On sí. Monday, okay? So have a good night, class. See you on Monday. Thank you. Good night. Bye-bye. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night.